What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a Strongholds overview, overview for you guys in the Diablo 4 beta. The first weekend for early access is all over, but we got the second weekend coming up. So I wanted to go over Strongholds and how powerful and how important these Strongholds are for you to complete inside of Diablo 4. Now, there's going to be more at each of the acts on the full release of the game, but inside the beta, we got access to Act 1 into three powerful Strongholds. We got Nostrava. Malnuk and Core Dragon. Each of these are located on the map. We have one that is down on the bottom side of the map. We have one that is to the right hand side of the map towards the east side. And then we have one to the north side, which is the Core Dragon. Each stronghold um, gets stronger and stronger, starting with Nostrava. So that one scales with your level. So whatever level you are, you're going to be doing it. Um, but the minimum monster level is going to be 12. So if you do Nostrava, it will be level 12. Malnuk will be starting at the minimum monster level of 10, but it scales with you. And then you have Core Dragon, which the minimum monster, monster level is going to be 20 or higher. Now, the reason that you want to ask yourself, why do we want to be doing Strongholds? Strongholds are going to be one of the best ways to gain renown, experience, unlock waypoints and dungeons that may not be available until you complete the stronghold okay starting with renown renown is a point system that they introduce into diablo 4 where on each act for the map you can earn renown points by completing strongholds completing dungeons completing quests and side quests the main story quest as well so all of these add your renown points which in turn are going to be able to unlock powerful points like increasing your potions adding additional skill points to your character etc so the other reason that you want these is to unlock waypoints uh, so that way you can move around the map a lot faster and it'll access dungeons that you haven't been able to complete yet so once you complete all three strongholds inside fractures peaks you unlock one waypoint and three dungeons in total which is really really good so in summary the strongholds they're very complicated to complete in some ways they each have an objective that are going to be you know a laundry list of things it can be investigate the town speak with stuff survive crazy villagers you know unlock things you know destroy certain monsters kill the ice clans you know destroy certain like hearts and stuff like that so that way you can fight the boss to complete these the rewards for these on top of everything we've discussed before is just you're going to get some items you're going to get some good legendaries if they drop but each stronghold is very important to complete along your journey through the acts of diablo 4. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to drop a like if you guys have enjoyed it. This is just a quick overview of how to do strongholds in Diablo 4 and why it's so important to actually complete them. So if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, get out there and blast in the next upcoming Diablo 4 beta, which is this weekend, a couple days from now. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.